Hi folks. Happy Thursday. We have a hundred chart strategy in our toolbox. We have an open number line strategy in our toolbox. Today's strategy is going to be number bonds and decomposing numbers. Decomposing numbers? What is Ms. Clevenger talking about? Well, decompose means to break down. Ever go outside and somebody might have thrown away a half-eaten apple and it's on the ground and it's getting kind of brown. Maybe there's some stuff growing on it and there's some bugs crawling on it and it's getting all kind of smushy and yucky. That apple is decomposing. It's breaking down. Well, decomposing numbers is not nearly so gross, but decomposing apples is kind of a cool science experiment. I'll keep that one in my back pocket. We're gonna talk about decomposing numbers to help us with our addition. Some kiddos really like this strategy and they really like it for the fact that it helps them with their mental math. And it's all about place value. Aren't you glad we spent so much time on place value earlier? Me too, we're using a lot of it this time around. So I'm gonna show you on our practice page what decomposing a number and a number bond looks like for some math where I'm adding two digits to one digit, but then I'm gonna show you double digit addition with decomposing a number bonds. It's kinda cool. You ready? Here we go. I'm gonna start with our first math problem on our practice page. We are working with the number 22 plus five. You're gonna see your double digit numbers have been circled. And then there's little lines that go off with some empty circles. And then you've got a single digit number that you're adding to it. Now, I know most of us could probably use our fingers or we could probably do it in our head or Mrs. Clevenger, you gave us the hunter's chart. That was the perfect one for me. This is just another strategy. Like I said, there's not one way to do math problems in second grade. There's lots of ways and maybe this one works really well for your brain. So when I'm decomposing a number, I am breaking this number down into its place value, kind of like expanded form. Like I said, aren't you glad we did place value? So if I'm looking at my two in the tens place, how much is that worth? It's not two. Good, that two is worth 20. All right, so the tens place is done. If I look at my ones place, I have another two. What's that one worth? It's not 20. Good, two. With a number bond, I am going to look at my tens place and my ones place. And I'm gonna be able to see how the number gets put back together. If I add five plus two, I'm adding my ones. 20, there's no, there's no other 10. So 20 stays a 20. But now I've got two plus five and that's seven. 22 plus five is seven. This is decomposing a number and using a number bond to do some addition. Now, grown ups, if this strategy works, let them do it. It helps us to understand place value is very important when we're doing adding and subtracting and in the future when we move into multiplication and division especially when they get up into the upper elementary and they start throwing decimals at them okay here we go my next problem i'm going to move to the right i've got 55 plus 4 equals I don't know, I need to do my number bonds. Let's decompose the number 55. 
55's got a circle. 55 has got some lines and circles underneath it. I'm going to be looking at my tens place first. What is that five worth? Good, 50. What is this five worth in this one's place? Good, five. Now, I don't have any other tens. There's no other tens. So my 10 stays a five. That's still a 50, whatever it is. My number bond here is nine. Good, four plus five is nine. 55 plus four is 59. Now, those are your first two problems on your practice page. All you're doing is you're breaking your two digit number apart by a 10 and the one, the value. It's just like expanded form. And then making sure that you keep the 10 and then just add the ones together. Now, this also works for double digit numbers added to double digit numbers. You just have to do the number bond and the decomposing with the second add in. I'll show you how that looks in case you get on a problem eventually and you go, oh, she didn't do two digit numbers to two digit numbers. I don't know what to do. Here we go. Uh, let's do 41 plus 32. Okay. I'm going to decompose 41 and that gives me 40, right? Because there's my tens place. And it gives me one, because that's in my ones place. Then I'm gonna decompose 32. And in my tens place for 32, I have 30. In my ones place for 32, I have two. So my 30 and my two. This makes it so that it gets really easy to do mental math in my head because if I have 40 and 30, I can get 70. One plus two is three. That's how you do number bonds and decomposing with two digit plus two digit. You're only having to worry about the single digit add end you don't have any double digits added to double digits on your practice page. I just want you to be aware you can do this strategy when you get to your two digit and two digit numbers, okay? So, as always, myself or Miss Vanessa, we are available at 1230 today to help you out. If you want some more practice with number bonds or you go, uh, I need this whole thing all over again, we are here to help. Happy bonding.